Chris Arbertine here in downtown Largo, Florida, filming at our brick and mortar store in the Tampa Bay area. We are close to Mel Fisher's Atosha Museum down in, Key in the Keys. The reason I'm bringing that up is let's talk about Atosha coins. What is an Atosha coin? The Atosha is a ship that sank in 1620s. Mel Fisher found it off the coast of the Keys in Florida, and then he basically disseminated the coins out and they were sold for quite a bit of money. And the market has been up and down, up and down, up and down. When Mel Fisher first issued these coins, they were extremely you know, rare and hard to find. And then as he started distributing more of them, they actually became very common. But right now there's been a resurgence. People want the Atosha coins, so the prices are back up. Now, what affects these prices? You have to have a certificate. If you don't have the original Mel Fisher Treasure Salver Certificate, it's not gonna be able to be sold as an Atosha coin. So what that means is if you don't have an Atosha certificate, you can't sell it as an Atosha coin. However, there is a service that they provide in Key West at $250 a coin that if you have the little mini cert that came with it, they will issue the original cert to you for a cost of $250. I've done it a handful of times when it was worth it but it's only worth it when you have a grade one. Now, what's a grade one? The Atosha coins came in four different grades. Grade four, grade three, grade two, grade one. Grade one was basically a perfect coin. A grade four was a coin that was probably a single coin found. And that's important because Mel Fisher did not find the mother load right away. He started finding smaller coins. And as these coins were on the bottom of the ocean, they were very well worn, grade four. The ones that then all of a sudden when he found large collections of them, like when he found the mother load, there would actually be bags and this much of these coins or a chest that had deteriorated. The outside coins probably got some wear and tear, grade threes, because they're still hard to tell. Now grade twos, maybe as you got in, like if the, if the pack was this big, I mean, they found boulders of these coins melded together. As they got into the middle, grade twos were a little less damaged. And a grade one was probably a coin that was in the center of the pack, very little dis discoloration, very little damage, and well wanted. Basically, people want the grade ones. So what that means is if you have a grade one, it's the best. If you have a grade four, not so good. Currently, I would say that a grade one is probably worth anywhere from, this is 800 to 1200. Grade two, 600 to 800. Grade three, three to 400. And a grade four, you never know. How, how, much, how long did it sit on the ocean floor? Grade fours can be 50 to 150. So again, this basically tells you that the, your Atosha coins are valuable. People want them. Go ahead, put them in a necklace because I'll tell you what, they've already been taken out of the ocean and processed. You're not gonna damage a coin by wearing it around your neck. But if you decide to do that, stash at that actual certificate somewhere so you know where it's at because when you go to sell it you're going to need it i hope this was informative and again press that subscribe button if you have any questions feel free to email thanks for tuning in